<laughs> hey, y'all. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it's me, Chesley. I'm, I'm Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kat. And we're all hanging out in our apartment this morning, mm-hmm. just talking about Fashion Week and how things have been so far. Yeah. I've been to a few shows. I went to, God, where have you been? A fair yeah. um, earlier this week. And then we all went to Sherry Hill last mm-hmm. night. And then me and Kat got to go to Mark Bauer presentation just afterwards. Yeah. So that was really, really cool. Um, it's been so funny. Like, this is the first fashion week I've actually been in New York yeah. for fashion week. So it's, I mean, it's so different. Like, the city just feels like a buzz. <laughs> but I would love to know, like, because it's your, both of your first fashion week to be attending, to be going as title holders. Like, what were your expectations of it and how did they meet? How did your experience so far meet it? Yeah. It's been, like, over the top. Like, the only fashion shows <laughs> that I've been to have been, like, back in my hometown of Charlotte right. or in Charleston or a few others. But never in like Mecca when it comes to like fashion cities. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's like I don't think that um, that it couldn't have exceeded my expectations because like, <laughs> every fashion week or every like show that I've gone to has been over the top. Mm-hmm. It's really yeah. cool. So okay. I've only been able to go to the Cherry Hill show because mm-hmm. I'm a college student. So yes, I had school. I had school. <laughs> uh, but yesterday was a ton of fun. I got to see a lot of. Um, girls in my class from nationals which was really so nice cool. as well Aww. and also the gowns were like beautiful and mm-hmm. like seeing her new styles that she has coming out for this season is getting me excited to which one was your favorite so there was one gown that was like hot pink it reminded me of my gown from Miss oh, Team yeah, USA you were saying that. Oh, yes, <laughs> and it's hot pink it had a little slit in the middle and mm-hmm. I thought it was just really pretty and the color was stunning so yeah, yeah there were a lot of like beautiful colors in the show last night at Sherry Hill. There was even like this rainbow sorbet. We were saying it looks like an ice cream, like a rainbow <laughs> ice cream. It did too. Right? And I just love seeing the gowns on the ramp because like the way that the light hits mm-hmm. them, like you don't really see gowns in that beautiful mm-hmm. lighting that often, except if you're watching Miss Universe mm-hmm. or of course if you're watching a fashion show. So it was really, really cool. And of course, um, there's an opportunity to meet so many different girls, including your sisters from yes. your pageant. Miss USA also, and also a few Miss Universe competitors from other countries have come into the office. Yes, what was it so like fun. meeting them? It was amazing. <laughs> it like really, for me, sort of signaled like, this is Miss Universe season. Like, Pageant season like, season this, season. Right? <laughs> and it's so cool to meet everybody, because you, you, know, you see people on stage, you see them win, you see them talking their on stage questions, and then you actually get to meet them in person, right. and see what they actually like look like, and their demeanor and everything, and so that for me was really, really exciting to get to see my sisters. Mm-hmm. Exactly. For me, I only met Miss Iceland, but it was very exciting because I feel for me, like, I grew up watching pageantry, and so it's like, I watched you get crowned. Like, I was just, like, watching it on TV at home, like, oh, wow. And then when I finally had the opportunity to compete for Miss Teen USA, I was just, like, so thankful to be there. Mm -hmm. But then, like, coming here and, like, winning and being able to hang out with you guys, it's just very surreal and weird to see the passage of time, because then I, like met the girls from different countries and I'm just like like I watched you on TV like, and it's like and you're excited to meet me but like I'm excited to meet you like it's so weird and so like comes full circle yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's, just yeah. Very but it's really cool to meet everybody mm-hmm. no no definitely and like it just as you said like the passage of time is insane because we have two main seasons of fashion week in New York um this is my second fashion week so coming back the main difference for me is that it's spring summer Thank yeah. the it's Lord. Like, <laughs> and today's actually the first beautiful day weather-wise. Um, we've braved the rain. We've yeah. braved the wind. Um, but it's amazing to see that so many people from different areas of the world, um, different designers, will all come out despite the weather and just have the most killer looks in street mm-hmm. style. Exactly. Have you guys seen that yet? Yes. Like, people yeah. out oh on gosh. the street? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's one of my favorite parts. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember when I lived in Charlotte, North Carolina, I would, like, go on Instagram pages that featured just street style. Mm-hmm. And so it's cool being here, seeing the street style, and seeing a place like New York City where you get to see really fashion-forward, edgy looks looks all the time like it's normal (laughs) and you have a fashion blog too so like you also have the perspective of like what it's like that the jobs that these bloggers and fashion influencers do so like Mm -hmm. has it given you also a little bit of insight like here in New York like just how crazy it is well and it's really cool to like shoot and like have us take pictures in this city Mm -hmm. because I remember you know when I would shoot pictures for my blog for white collar glam it's just for professional clothing and I remember like being in Charlotte looking for like places downtown where we could shoot some buildings won't let you shoot in front of them because mm-hmm. they, the buildings can't right. be actually photographed. But being in New York City, like you can go everywhere, anywhere, it's a right? free for all. Yes, <laughs> yes. 
it's like everywhere there are tall buildings, everywhere there are cityscapes, and that's probably one of my favorite parts about being here. No, definitely. Really and cool. and Kaylee, I know that one of your ambitions is to be a model. Yes. So like here in Fashion Week, you're in the fields. If there was like one designer that you could walk for, like a oh. dream designer, who would it be? I have no clue because there, so <laughs> there are like so many designers that come out with very like interesting pieces mm -hmm. and like for me being in Connecticut it's such a very weird in between because it's like <laughs> going to college like you're gonna wear your athletic clothes mm -hmm. but then it's like I also want to wear like the outfits that I think look really cool mm -hmm. and I like love jumpsuits I love wearing like baggier pants mm -hmm. and like crop tops and stuff like that and so being able to be here during like new york fashion week and being able to be like styled yeah. and like go out looking like a little more extreme I mean, than i one usually one of, do yes it's one of the most fun parts yeah. like experimenting with makeup mm -hmm. and like yeah. clothing your makeup looks bomb today pink Can eyeshadow like, <laughs> this. it's just so much fun yeah, and, yeah no, which so one great. of your looks was like your favorite so far um, I got to go to Flora Tal, um presentation yesterday, and I got to wear this very long olive green dress with these different that. layers, I do, I and like it. plum high knee boots, <laughs> and I just felt like a fall vibe, mm -hmm. and it was just like a different silhouette, and like, as you guys said, it's so nice to be able to play up with fashion, because of course in the realm of pageantry, it's all like chic and like gowns and sparkle <laughs> so like the amazing thing with fashion week is like even me i'm like what can i do different in my makeup today or like we're gonna play up with being like a little bit of a different silhouette or being like athletic or um being glam or casual or sweet or romantic you know like it's like a free-for-all you can dress however you want and um, our stylist Emma at Miss Universe has been amazing. Yes. Like she just she just pulls out these amazing pieces. So every time we go into the office, I don't know about you yeah. guys. But every time I go in, I'm like, what have we got today? <laughs> Well, I think one of the things that she does really well is she also, like, in addition to, like, pushing you forward and making sure you have fashion-forward looks, she really pays attention to, like, what we like to wear. Mm -hmm. Like, I always feel comfortable in suits. And so I spoke at um, a, an event in D.C. for attorneys, and she was like, here's a blue suit with a blue shirt, and this is going to be really cute. So that's one of the things that I love mm -hmm. is, like, even though you get really cool looks, especially for Fashion Week, it's also, like, you and your personality. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she listens. Like, I, that's the first thing I noticed when I went in because... She was like, oh, what do you like wearing? And then she looked at my outfit, and I was wearing a blue jumpsuit with Burks. And so now, <laughs> like, with a lot of my outfits, she'll find, like, burke styled shoes, which mm -hmm. I think is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, awesome. They're, like, the most comfortable thing. <laughs> and then she always finds, like, jumpsuits, and she knows I like my clothing to be a little bit more baggier. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she's really good at helping me mix color and patterns, because that's one thing I have trouble with. Oh, I'm not a too. very, like, don't we all? Good <laughs> <fashion> <laughs> Otherwise, I would wear all black every day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's the New York palette. <laughs> that's, what it is. that's so true. Well, we've got a few shows left today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys are going to some shows like Monday and Tuesday, too. Mm -hmm. Which ones are you guys looking forward to? Rebecca Minkoff is today. Yes. Yeah, we're all going really cool. together. Yeah. I love being able to go with the girls because oh. it's like, it's not usual that Kaylee's in town yeah. mm -hmm. and Chess and I schedule a line. So like Fashion Week is one of those things to look forward to because it's like a girl's day out. Oh, three of We get to dress yeah. up and be glad. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I'm just, I just really look forward to the experience of Fashion Week every single time. Mm -hmm. Like I'm also not very brand conscious in that like I really follow along with designers really mm -hmm. closely. Mm -hmm. um, but I always love going and just being pleasantly surprised because I go in not knowing really what the designer's aesthetic is or what they're known for or what their specialty is but mm -hmm. when watching the show you're like wow the pleats are beautiful or the color palette or exactly. the vibe you know what I mean so it's mm -hmm. like it's always just a little journey of discovery for me so that's what I look forward to in fashion definitely. week definitely what about you I just think it's cool that I'm here <laughs> because like like you said earlier like I really want to model like that's like my mm -hmm. dream mm -hmm. job and like it's hard work so like watching the models like on the runway and I'm like looking for m more specific things when it comes to that too like how are they walking mm -hmm. what are their facial expression expressions how are they like like showing off whatever mm -hmm. article of clothing they're wearing so I think it's like definitely a very good learning experience oh, and yeah. it's just really cool to be here because it's oh, something sure. you hear about like growing up and then now I'm actually well here. and because you're a college student I mean how does that yeah. feel like being like plucked from school and then like, <laughs> <we're just laughs> being like thrown into the like flash right. it's very interesting <laughs> <laughs> this is my 
my job. This is what I do, but it's not like the usual job. So I was telling, um, I also work on campus with the social media team. And so I was like, I can't work on Friday. Like I'm going to New York. I have to make it <laughs> casual. And they were like, what? Like, That's interesting. And so it's just a lot of fun. It's very cool to be able to like share experiences and like little tidbits of background information because I get to see the behind the scenes of New York Fashion Week and like pageantry. Mm-hmm. So being able to share that with other people I think is really fun. No, yeah, definitely. Awesome. I would love to know since we're like three days into Fashion Week, what is in your guys' Fashion Week survival kit? Ooh. <laughs> so many things. My purse yesterday was so big. Oh my gosh. MR stylist stuffed my bag into her giant duffel bag because my <laughs> mine was so big. Um, I definitely have, uh, what are they called? The little like pieces of paper that you put on Oil blotting, blotting sheets. Yes, yeah. definitely have blotting sheets. So important, especially when it gets hot. I get oh, so yeah. shiny right here, right here, my nose, my chin. So I always keep those. Mm-hmm. Um, it has like a cute, the one that I have, the set that I have, is like, it has a cute little mirror on it. So I'm like, dang. Mm. <laughs> like, that's for sure my go-to. Yeah, how about you, Fairy? I always bring backup lip gloss. And I also always bring blotting sheets because I have yeah. very oily skin <laughs> and I I don't know I bring my phone with me everywhere so I can take photos <laughs> and stuff I love having memories like that's the main reason why I take photos yeah. so like I don't really use snapchat but I love the memories portion of it so I always take photos and then save it and then like be able to look back at my mom <laughs> and be like so oh wow this no, happened it's true, though. Yeah. it's true yeah, for me it's always good to have like a little bit of snacks in your bag mm, if yes. you can like a movie what do you bar snack or something on? oh like I always like have candy like yeah. M and M's or like a small candy bar or like now I know where to go to when I zip lock of <laughs> like <laughs> zip lock of fruit. Um, also, always touch up makeup mm-hmm. and band aids because you know sometimes like if you get like a blister yeah. or something yeah. and safety pins for oh, sure. I you never know. <laughs> well, then I usually bring like Listerine little patches yes. that I put on my tongue because I like I talk. The, Everywhere we go, it's so loud sometimes, and so mm-hmm. if I'm like talking really closely to somebody, all I can think about is does my breath smell? <laughs> <laughs> so I always keep my little listerine packet because it's better than having gum, you know. It's so true. then like somebody's gonna catch me chewing like a cow or something. So <laughs> gotta keep my listerine packets, guys, for sure. So yeah, I mean, like we're three days into Fashion Week. We've got a week to go. I think it's gonna be amazing. We've got shows lined up. We've got yeah. presentations lined up. Are any more girls coming in through town to visit uh, Miss Universe? Yeah, Miss USA girls. I think so. We have like a giant group chat on whatsapp Mm -hmm. and so everybody's like messaging like who's coming who's in town so i need to check it and scroll a little bit so he's coming in yeah so that'll be super exciting so guys thank you for tuning in do follow along with the miss universe social media that's at miss universe on instagram twitter and facebook Mm -hmm. um you can also follow along our new york fashion week updates on our social media and our handles are yep chesley christ and miss usa on twitter and instagram and on facebook Kaylee Garris on all the same things that she has. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Katrina, underscore great on Miss Universe. So thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Bye.